So for instance, in Toy Story, who is bite like bud by bud? Hey, and welcome to another episode of the Happiest Days on Earth with me, Polka Dot Pixie Dust. I talk all things mini ears and Disney. And today's vlog, I'm going to be doing a What I Got for Christmas 2020. And I've got loads of goodies here that I'm so excited to show you that I just got to show you. So here it goes. So part of my Secret Santa Zoom quiz that you saw previously, I received some amazing Disney trivia. I like to host Disney quizzes quite often, so to receive this gift was absolutely fantastic. This is the Disney trivia for 140 questions game. So that's what it looks like. Sorry, got the light shining on it. Let's see if that works. There we go. So the light shining on it, but there we go. The Disney trivia, 140 questions. And at the back, it gives you an example of what the games and questions are. So for instance, in Toy Story, who's Buzz Lightyear's nemesis? Is it Emperor Zug, Stinky Pete, Big Baby, or Rex? Now we definitely know it's not Rex, do we? And then when you open it up, which I can't seem to do right now because I remembered I've put the sticky tape back on, so that was a bit of silly me. But when you do finally open it up, I should probably take the sticky tape off, shouldn't I? You have the 140 questions right here with one of them just falling out so for my next disney zoom quiz i think i know what i'm going to be using thank you so much rachel and ollie and rob for getting me these you are amazing by the way it's not my rob it's rachel's rob because there's so many robs in the disney community apparently which i had no idea about so there you go rob you've got another rob um next <laughs> i have a notebook now as you're going to see throughout this theming of what i got for disney christmas 2020 i'm going to have a lot a lot of notebooks so starting off with the bear the main bear himself winnie the pooh now look at this isn't it just fantastic it's nice and gold so it represents nice honey and then you've got Winnie the Pooh looking at the bee right there. And then you have Sootball joining with his slight ear just over there. Now, I haven't written anything in it as of yet, but I do like to write songs and I do like to write poetry. So this is something that this will come in handy with. OK, so next on my list is uh, one of a kind, shall I say, piece of art that was given to me by the wonderful Scott from Scott and Amy. He is so talented, it's unreal. I showed you recently on one of my vlogs some magic mail that I received from him from all different types of paintings. So the magic mail that I received for Christmas was this picture painted by Scott on a canvas of the genie. Look at that, isn't that cute? The one thing I would say about this though is it hasn't got his signature. Now that's a shame because it is such a unique piece of artwork and I just love how the genie's just there stand the genie's just there standing out and then you have the lamps the lamps all around him so it's cool. Thank you very much Scott I really loved it. Next on my list is my name. Now my name obviously isn't really polka dot pixie dust it's Emma and when i saw this in one of my secret santa gifts from my other amazing group of disney friends from the disney fish buckets we called <laughs> i feel stupid saying that out loud but yes we are sorry about that we are the disney fish buckets um when i saw this i fell in love with it immediately i love the color and i just love that it's in disney font so my name as you're going to see now is actually emma now, on screen right now, when I'm looking at my phone, it comes across very not the right way around. So when you're watching this, I really hope that it does come across the right way around. But it's so cool. And I usually have it stuck just here, like so. Now, hopefully it will balance with my mini ears. There. So now you can see it in the rest of my videos. The next thing is a Disney print. And I think this is perfect for the happiest days on earth because it's just mini ears all over it absolutely fantastic mini ears so you've got the alien mini ears which you've not yet seen on my channel but i do own 
you've got the cookie ears which you've actually seen on my channel you've got the classic mini ears you've got epcot ears you've got the purple potion ears you've got rapunzel ears millennial pink ears basically the list can go on and on and on and this is the print itself look at that how awesome is that this is typical polka dot pixie dust absolutely typical polka dot pixie dust i just love it i absolutely love it and what's been happening is when you're not recording is i usually have it behind this picture so i can still see the picture of me and rob but it's usually sitting behind so you can still see the top half of it as well so that's another picture that i received now this isn't quite the picture but it is a picture so let me start again so this isn't quite the present because the present's over there so i'm gonna have to attach a picture of me wearing it but i received an eye mask and i love the picture from the packaging that i had to keep it and the picture is this how cute is that so basically it was a mini mouse headband eye mask and it has gel pads inside of it and you can see a picture that i'll insert for you now and then this is a packaging that came with it after us so isn't that cute very mini-esque so the next thing i received i'm not sure that rob actually likes it i mean deep down i think he does like it because he likes winding me up about it however he doesn't want me to start a collection which unfortunately i think has already started not because of me but because of the gifts i've received so i'm actually a member of d23 which is the official fan club for disney and each year that i've been a member they've given me a whole box of disney pins i'm gonna get a box for you now actually so you can have a look so this is the first year of me being an official d23 member and i was actually gifted this isn't it amazing to be a member and then when you open it up i have to be very fragile with this because i like it so much I can't open it up so when you open it up you get a letter just telling you about d23 You get a certificate which shows you're officially a member of d23 and then you get the amazing box that all the pins come in i mean look at this isn't it amazing i stay amazing quite a lot on my channel i do realize that and then when you finally do open the box which can take whatever you get these amazing pins now look at that now it's a bit hard to see them this light let me see if I can. Does that help? I don't know if that helps. But you've got Sebastian there. You've got a Tower of Terror. You've got Up. You've got Kermit the Frog. You've got all these different pins here, which are absolutely amazing, commemorating the 10 year anniversary of D23. Yet, the pins that I've received for Christmas are these pins right here. Again, part of my Secret Santa gift. You can see them just here. Those upside down. There. So yes, part of my secret Santa gift again, I received these lovely pins. Now I haven't actually got any pin boards to put my pins on, which is a shame. So maybe I should invest in a pin board, maybe. But then does that give me incentive to start collecting even more pins? Like I said, all the pins I've been gifted are either D23 from a secret Santa or from my lovely friend Kathleen, who's gifted me a couple of pins as well. Oh, and Ellie from America, from New York, she gifted me a pen as well which was lovely of her. So back to my notebooks, this is my next gift. It is, of course, the lovely Mickey Mouse notepad with the letter E on the pen for Emma. And it's, I haven't opened it just yet because I'm gonna start on it once I've started on my Winnie the Pooh notepad. But there it is, nice red. I love red, as you can probably tell. I'm wearing red today. I did not mean for that to happen, it just happened. Um, so yes, another notepad. Oh, I've got red nails. <laughs> I didn't notice that too either. <laughs> I'm a bit slow as well, as you've probably noticed. The next notepad that I received was this one. Now, it's not quite Disney, but it's like a little mini journal, and I love journaling. I've got a bullet journal that I do. I've done it for the last, what, three years now? And this one is like a mini version of a bullet journal. So you just put in your details, you get to do some colouring, you've got your little notes and dribbles. I call them dribbles because my writing's a bit like a dribble it sort of goes Ooh. <laughs> that's my writing so that's another notepad i received the next gift i received on my list was this amazing calendar and journal and diary that i've been wanting 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 for so long since i saw it on the shop disney website 
This was given to me again by my secret Santa. So when I saw it, I just cried because it's been something I've wanted for ages. It is, of course, the Cinderella Diary from the Disney Princess Collection. There we go. That is it right there. Isn't it beautiful? Such beautiful quality, nice and thick. So that's what it's like on the inside. And then you've got a year to year planner just here. It tells you all the holidays just here. And then you've got the day to day with a little picture of Disney princesses just there as well. So it's a wonderful, wonderful diary. And if you look closely on the side, you can see where the year sort of goes in the diagonal line, just going down there. So yes, that's what I received from my secret Santa. Now, another gift that I received, sorry, I've still got loads of gifts to go, <laughs> which I wasn't expecting because I haven't seen anyone. And basically half of this came from my secret Santa and I wasn't expecting all this come from my secret Santa. Obviously not all of it has come from my secret Santa. Some of it has just come from Rob as well. Um, but yes, most of this come from my secret Santa. So I was really gifted this year. This isn't from a secret Santa. This is just a little gift that one of my friends decided to give me as a little thank you, I guess, for the year that we've known each other. And it's some wax melts. So it comes in this little cracker just here. I haven't actually undone it yet because I have my cats and I don't actually undo. That's what it's for. That's what it looks like inside, if you can see that just there. They're like little Mickeys and little hearts. And they smell absolutely divine, like some roses roses and daisies mixed up into one if that makes sense there's a lovely floral smell coming from it now i feel like i'm in a wine tasting show hmm nice and floral <laughs> um but yeah i haven't got any candles to use to wax melt these but one day i will and they smell divine my next thing on my list again is another notepad and it's of stitch now look at this it says notes just there as you can see just now it's a lovely piece of paper lovely thick lines just going along there so like i said i'm going to be using this for my songwriting or my poetry or some even just storytelling because maybe i might start storytelling because why not it's the year of 2021 we've just been through 2020 we might as well make the most of it by doing a little story for people to read in the future whoever wants to read it in the future i mean i don't know does anyone want to look back at 2020 really i don't think so but yes uh that will be what i'll be using that notebook for the next thing i received was this cute look how cute it is mini mouse hairbrush and mirror so that's what it looked on the outside you open it up you've got the mirror just here and then you go one two three and that is the hairbrush just pokes out just like that isn't that cute? Very, very cute. Um, the next gift isn't actually Disney, but I'm going to let it out in the open. I love McFly. McFly are a British band that have been around for years now, over a decade. And they recently released Young Dumb Thrills, which is their most recent album. And it's so amazing. But um, <laughs> one of my friends who I've met, through the Disney, not Disney community, through the McFly community. I'm so used to saying Disney community, but from the McFly community, when I used to sleep outside the arenas, waiting to be first in line, right at the front of the stage, I met a girl called Laura. And Laura's basically designed some badges and she handed these to me, well, not handed them to me, she sent them to me in the post. Two badges, which are of McFly. So there you go, you have one. It's not of McFly, it's of their logo from... Super City. Super City is one of their fan clubs. So you have Street Club, Street Team even, which is what I was a member of and I used to be an admin. Then you had Super City, which this is from. So that's their logo. And then this one, if you can see it, I don't know if you can, it says GD. Now GD stands for Galaxy Defender because there's a line which goes, Galaxy Defenders stay forever. So that's basically a line because we're galaxy defenders the fans are called galaxy defenders so yeah that's another gift that i received not disney but hey ho another gift i received was this beautiful bracelet of rapunzel so you've got her frying pan just dangling there obviously you've got the sun just there um 
this is from a whole new bead now whole new bead makes bracelets like this which again i was also gifted for christmas as a secret santa present and yeah she makes beautiful bracelets like this she also gave me alongside it she gave me little cards but she also gave me another card <laughs> she also gave me there we go some stickers so we've got mickey mouse there and we've got the genie's lamp here and she gave me a nice ring which is mickey mouse just there don't know if that's in focus or not but there it is and these hair scrunchies with the little mickey baubles on it as well so that's what I received from her, from a whole new bead. So go and check it out because her stuff is amazing. You don't want to be disappointed. Right, finally on to my last two gifts. Now these two gifts are special to me because they came from Rob. And I'm going to leave the best one till last. Now the best gift is going to be till last. So yes, I'm eyeing it up now because I want to show you. But I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because I'm going to show you this book first. So this book is called Joyride. And it's all based around the theatre. And he lives on theatricals, and that's basically on here. It says lives of theatricals. So it's about 500 pages to read, so quite a big book. But it's all about different theatres and theatre shows. And I love theatre, and that's what my degree's in, is performing arts. So when I saw this book, I got really excited. And it turns out, after meeting me, Rob decided to do some amateur dramatics as well. And he ended up being my husband in one of them. I mean, I don't know how that turned out to be, but, you know, hey-ho and <laughs> joking Rob it's fine and um yeah I think he's got into theatre too so once I finish this book I'm going to lend it to him as well because he will enjoy reading it I think and lastly but surely not least is the best present I've received since my electric guitar back in 2003 it is called Flux it is by Sega if you don't know recognize that music then where have you been um, it's called the Flux Home Planetarium and this is what it looks like. Here it is. That's the sides of it. There you go, that makes more sense. That's the sides of it, just there. And it's inside a good packaging so it doesn't, it's not going to get damaged. So here it is, just here. And it says, imagine enjoying the sky full of stars while sitting on your sofa. This dream can come be become reality with Sega Toy series of home planetariums. Flux is the most advanced model available. Flux takes an incredibly popular planetarium design and refines it even further. Further even. Now the best part about it is, can you notice? Can you see what the best part is? No? It is, of course, a hidden Mickey. Can you see it now? Now I've said it, a hidden Mickey? I'll try and, try and show you. So you've got the ears here, and then you've got the Mickey Mouse head just here. Isn't that cool? I will attach a picture for you now so you can see what it looks like when it works. Unfortunately, though, it does have some ways that it's not focusing as well. So I don't know if that's the height that I'm putting it on. So, or there's a lens on it that you can adjust to try and get it to focus. But I think it's probably the height that I'm leaving it to project. But um, yeah, it's fantastic. So you can get many different discs for it. And I've got the Northern Hemisphere Constellations discs and just the SARS discs of the Northern Hemisphere. And you can get the Northern Lights. You can get the Planets. You can get the Southern Hemisphere. There's all these different discs that you can buy to use for the projector. So I think I know where I'm going to be spending my Christmas money from my parents from. And that has been my Disney stroke non-disney what i got for christmas 2020 now i really hope that you enjoyed seeing what i got is there any gifts here that you go oh i kind of like that i kind of want it please let me know in the comments below what else did you get for christmas i'd love to find out um if you're new here like i said please like and subscribe and comment and hit that notification bell because every little subscribe makes it so much happier for me um and thank you very much for watching. You have been fantastic. I have been Polka Dot Pixie Dust and I look forward to seeing you in my next vlog. Take care. Bye.